in the canton of Graubünden in Switzerland, a 65-meter-high and 136-meter-long railway bridge is spanned across the Landwasser River by a human mind. This bridge consists of six arches 20 meters long and has one railroad track. With its one end facing the Landwasser Tunnel, the bridge is actually a continuation of the tunnel. The Landwasser Viaduct is a curved six-arch, single-track railway bridge. The masonry of the viaduct is made of limestone and dolomite, and its volume is 9200 m3. The bridge was built according to the design of Alexander Akatos in 1901-1902 by Muller and Zerlitter for the Rishan Railway. The construction was carried out by a technology unusual for that time. The three supports were built without scaffolding. Instead of scaffolding, a metal construction was erected in the middle of the piers to hold the bridge crane. It delivered building materials to the place of laying. The viaduct was opened in 1902. The owner of the bridge is the Rishan Railway. This bridge became a symbol of the Alboli Railway, which is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The piers were built without scaffolding. Iron towers were placed in the center of the piers on which auxiliary crane bridges of five tons were supported. The iron towers were left in the masonry. This viaduct is on the section of the Albulia Railroad connecting the towns of Filizur and Tufinkastel. If you drive from the last station, you can admire the bridge from afar. It is particularly visible from the Schmittentabel Viaduct, which is also a landmark. A beautiful view of the viaduct opens up to passengers on the Davos Filizur railway line. It is 106 years since the bridge opened, and 100,000 trains have passed over it. The viaduct required restoration, which was done in 2009. A special reinforcing mortar was introduced into the masonry, sleepers and rails were replaced. The external appearance of the bridge remains unchanged. From May to September 2009 for the duration of repair the piers and arches of the viaduct, built in a curve radius of 100 meters, were covered with red cloths, thereby turning the structure into a kind of artifact for the time of repair. About 25% of the work was performed at night, the passage of trains was provided with temporary structures. The repair of the viaduct was completed in November 2009. Viaduct Landwasser on the Albula line is so famous that it has literally become an icon of Swiss railroads. In general, Switzerland has the densest rail network in Europe. On average, there are 122 kilometers of railway per 1,000 square kilometers. The Swiss are the most active rail users in Europe. In 2005 they traveled an average of 42 trips over a distance of 1,929 kilometers. Worldwide they are second only to the Japanese who made more trips but traveled fewer kilometers in 2005. In the USA in 2001 similar indicators were equal to 0.1 trip and 32 kilometers respectively. In 2006 Switzerland's Federal Railways, SVB, carried 285 meters passengers and more than 60 meters tons of freight. The SVB trains run a total of 3,163 kilometers. In addition to the SBB, Switzerland has a number of private railroads, who operate a network totaling just over 2,000 kilometers, about 12,500 miles. In 2003, around 169 meters passengers were carried on these lines. Toothed railroads and aerial tramways cover a distance of about 150 kilometers. Despite the mountains in Georges, the railroad is a model of punctuality. Train schedules are well coordinated with other bus and river modes of transport. The Swiss are masters at building railroads. One has to be resourceful enough to be able to bridge the difference in mountain altitudes. The power of the locomotive, as a rule, is not enough to lift the train in a straight line on a steep slope. It can overcome that slope by climbing a curved or circular branch. For example, a circular tunnel was built along with a straight tunnel on the St. Goddard Pass section to ensure the safe movement of trains. The mountainous canton of Graubünden has many long and in some places intricately curved railroad viaducts, attracting tourists from all over the world. Most of them were built in the early 20th century. The highest railway station in Europe Jungfraujic is located at an altitude of 3,454 meters in the Bernese Oberland. The total length of the bridge is 136 meters. The length of the bridge spans six arches of 20 meters. Height of the bridge 65 meters. Beginning of the construction, March 1901. Date of opening, July 1, 1903. 
On this bridge passes about 22,000 trains a year, or about 60 trains a day.